In this video, we will show you how to operate your 80 volt, 20 inch fat tire e-bike. Inserting the battery. Insert the key into the lock and turn it clockwise to unlock the battery compartment. Remove the battery cover. Line up the grooves of the battery with the compartment and push the battery in. The battery locks into position with a click. If the battery does not fit easily into the compartment, it may be installed incorrectly, which can damage the e-bike. To remove the battery, push the battery release button. Slide the cover back on and make sure it clicks into position. Safety check. Before each ride, inspect your bike to ensure nothing is loose or damaged and everything is functioning properly. This includes the brakes, steering, cranks and pedals, the chain and derailers, the wheels, and the tires. Set the tire pressure to between 5 and 30 PSI, connecting to the Smart G app. Download the Smart G Home app to your smartphone and connect your e-bike to access additional controls and features. To connect your e-bike to the app, make sure there is a battery installed and your device's Bluetooth is enabled. The e-bike does not need to be turned on for it to be connected. Open the app. Select Add Device. The e-bike should appear as an available device. If the e-bike does not appear, the Bluetooth function may need to be reset. Press and hold the power button for 10 seconds. The e-bike will turn on. Open the app and select Add Device. When it appears, select the e-bike to add it as a device. Hit Next, then Done. Once connected, you can select the Drive Mode and Pedal Assist level. You can control the headlights, set or adjust the bike speed limit, choose between miles and kilometers, and check the status of your battery. The app can even track your rides when location permission is enabled. Keep in mind that this interface is used for multiple e-bike models and some functions may not apply to your model e-bike. Wear a helmet. We recommend you always wear a helmet when operating your e-bike, even if local laws do not require it. Make sure your helmet is properly adjusted according to the manufacturer's specifications. Start the e-bike. When your e-bike is off, it functions and can be pedaled like a normal bike. To use the throttle and pedal assist modes, press and hold the power button to turn it on. The pedal assist sensor, PAS, provides a significant boost to your pedaling, with the power level determined by the PAS level selected on the control panel. Select the pedal assist level by pressing the plus or minus adjustment buttons. When you're ready to move forward, select Pedal Assist Level 1 and begin to pedal, or gently turn the throttle on the right handlebar toward you. To come to a stop, release the throttle and squeeze both brake levers consistently. To turn the bike off, press and hold the power button. Walk Assist Mode. To activate Walk Assist Mode, press and hold the Walk Assist button until the e-bike begins to move. Pull the brake lever to cancel Walk Assist Mode. Shifting Gears. When pedaling, the ability to change gears allows you to maintain a steady pace under different conditions. Press the button on the gear selector to select a higher gear. Push the lever on the gear selector to select a lower gear. To change gears, you must be pedaling forward. Do not change gears while coasting or standing still. You don't have to change gears when using the throttle. Turning on the headlight. The e-bike has a headlight for better visibility. To turn it on, press the headlight button.
Press again to turn it off. Navigating the display. The e-bike has an LCD display with multiple functions. The display will show your speed and remaining battery life. Press the parameter button on the left to select different functions of the display interface. Trip distance, odometer, maximum speed, and average speed. Adjusting the screen brightness. To adjust the display brightness, press and hold the plus and minus buttons together for three seconds. The display will show 01P. Press the parameter button to enter parameter modification mode. Use the plus or minus buttons to select the desired brightness level. 00 is the darkest and 03 is the brightest. Press the parameter button again to save the new setting. Press and hold the parameter button for three seconds to return to the main screen. Changing the unit of measurement. To change from imperial to metric, press and hold the plus and minus buttons together for three seconds. Press the plus button until the display reads 02P. Press the parameter button, then press the plus or minus button to select the desired unit. Zero, 00 is metric, zero, 01 is imperial. Press the parameter button to save the new setting. Press and hold the parameter button for three seconds to return to the main screen. Trip Distance Reset To reset the trip distance meter, press and hold the parameter and minus buttons for three seconds. Factory Reset To enter Factory Reset mode, press and hold the plus and headlight buttons for three seconds. Press the plus and minus buttons to select DEF-Y. Press the parameter button to confirm. The display will show DEF-0 and automatically begin to restore the factory default settings. After the default settings have been restored, the display will automatically exit the factory reset mode. Do not store the e-bike with the battery installed. Always remove the battery when not in use. And that's it. Properly maintained, your Greenworks e-bike will provide you with years of great service. If you have any difficulties or need replacement parts, contact us at greenworkstools.com. <laughs>